a worksheet in microsoft excel is also known as a spreadsheet application and this worksheet consists of integrated cells in which a user can enter and also calculate data this worksheet consists of cells which are organized into columns and rows a worksheet is always stored in a single workbook and a workbook can contain many worksheets that is similar to a normal book consisting of individual pages so in microsoft excel when you look at this particular mini tuba i have here we have all these individual boxes and these individual boxes are known as cells and they are integrated by a column and also a row so these vertical sections that we have here are all columns whilst these horizontal sections are all known as rows and when these vertical sections and also horizontal sections are integrated they form a box known as a cell in a particular worksheet now let me maximize this window and identify what worksheets are and its individual features now this is the entire workbook of this particular window and this is the current worksheet i am working on and this worksheet has a name and this name is located on a particular feature known as the sheet tab so when we move to the bottom left corner of this window we have this area and this area is called the sheet tab and this is the current name for this particular worksheet we have here this worksheet that consists of these individual boxes and this is the name given to it known as sheet one by default this is the only sheet available on this sheet tab this might be different from your current workbook yours might be three worksheets yours might be two yours might be four worksheets depending on how you've customized it i have customized this particular workbook to have a default sheet which is only one worksheet so how can you customize the number of worksheets that is going to be available on this particular sheet tab and in this tutorial we are going to look at all the things that are needed the things that you need to keep you going as a microsoft excel user how you can understand what a worksheet is how worksheet works what are some of the features you might know about worksheets and some of the customization you can give to your worksheet to make you have an easy identification of your data whenever you are working within a spreadsheet application especially microsoft excel so i want to show you how you can change the number of default worksheets that should be available on this particular sheet tab and when you look at this workbook the name given to it is book one if i hold ctrl plus n on the keyboard i create another workbook which is book two and still we have only one worksheet that is available on the sheet tab so i'm going to close this so that we can work with the previous workbook how can we change the default worksheet that should be available on this sheet tab you move to file and then in the backstage view we have the option called options and in this window we have an option under the extra options as general option so in this general options we have this interface that relates to this general option and we are going to move to a section called when creating new workbooks this particular section that we have here and this section will give us the room to choose the number of worksheet that should be available in our current workbook and currently in this field you can see that we have this as one so we can set this to the number of worksheets that should be available on the sheet tab so if i use this up and down arrows to change the numbers that should be in this field you can also click and type it manually i'm going to use this arrows now i'm going to maintain this as three then i'm going to click on ok there are other options that you can choose from here you can change the default font the font size you can also have a default view for your new sheet that is to be in a normal view or when you click you can have it in the page break preview or page layout preview so all these are options to you but in this case we want to just have a customizable worksheet that should be on our sheet tab so when you are done with this particular operation you click on ok now to know the effect still in this existing workbook we have only one worksheet if i hold ctrl plus n or when i move to file and choose new and click on blank workbook this creates a new workbook therefore we have one 
two and also we have three worksheets and this is going to be the default worksheet that is going to be in every new workbook that you create so this is how to change the default worksheet that should be available in your current workbook now let's close this current window and we are going to work with our existing workbook now what are some of the operations you can apply to a worksheet when you are working within two or more worksheets in a workbook you should have a particular name given to all those individual worksheets to have easy identification of your available data so in this case let's assume i have some data in this field give me some seconds to type some data in this particular worksheet So let's assume I have this data in this worksheet and I want to change the name of this worksheet to suit this particular data. So let's assume this data is about data analysis or this data is about student information. Then it is easy for you to name your worksheet to suit your available data. So this time around I'm going to show you how you can rename your worksheets that are available in your workbook. So what you can do is you can right click on this worksheet. And then in these options we have the option to rename you can press the letter r on the keyboard or you can click on this option now when you do so this is going to select this particular sheet name and you can change this name to a different name now after doing so you can click any area of this worksheet and that is going to apply the name to this worksheet for your current data these are to change the name of your worksheet in microsoft excel another way to do this is to double click on the sheet name and when you do so this is also going to select the sheet name on the sheet tab then you can change this existing name to a different name and after doing so you can press the enter key on the keyboard and this is also another way of renaming your worksheet in microsoft excel now let me show you the last thing that you can use to rename your worksheet in microsoft excel when this sheet is selected on the sheet tab you can move to the home tab and then in the home tab we have this cells group and in this cells group we have format when you click on format this gives you the option to rename the worksheet that was selected so when i choose this this is going to select the name of this worksheet and therefore i can type any name for this worksheet and after doing so you can click any area of your worksheet that is to select any cell in this worksheet and now we have the name applied to this particular worksheet so this is how to rename worksheets in microsoft excel now as an excel user now that you know how to open an excel workbook or an excel window and also you know how to identify your worksheets and also the name of your worksheet and as usual how to rename your worksheet how can you insert a new worksheet in microsoft excel if you don't use the default worksheet available rather you want to create about six seven eight nine worksheets in your workbook how can you create a new worksheet let me guide you with these illustrations now when you look at this current worksheet that we have here we have this plus symbol and this plus symbol has a screen tip as new sheet so anytime you place your pointer on this plus symbol you have the screen tip as new sheet and when you click on this this creates another worksheet and this becomes sheet 2 if you could remember this worksheet that we have here had a previous name as sheet 1 and we manually change that name to this current name therefore anytime you create a new worksheet you are going to have a number attached to it and that is going to be a continuous operation in your workbook now we have this as sheet 2 when you click sheet 3 sheet 4 and this becomes a continuous thing with the number attached to it and as i said earlier you can manually change the names of this worksheet using all the methods i showed you when we were renaming this particular worksheet so this is sheet 2 sheet 3 and sheet 4 so this is how to create a worksheet in microsoft excel another way to do this is you can select any of these worksheets that is when you want to have 
the position of that particular worksheet so if i select this which is sheet 2 and i move to the home tab and then in the home tab we move to the cells group and this is the cells group and we have this insert button when you click on this arrow you have the option to insert cells sheet rules sheet columns and also we have insert sheets we are going to choose this particular option and what happens is that this is going to create a worksheet before that selected worksheet so if i select sheet 4 home tab insert sheet this is going to create a sheet before that particular sheet that was selected so this is also another way to insert a worksheet in your current workbook now you can also right click on any of the worksheets then we have the option to choose insert when you click on insert you are going to have this beautiful insert dialog box we have worksheet chat excel macro and we have excel dialog you are going to select worksheet and that is what we want to insert in our workbook so when you select this you just choose ok and this is also going to create a worksheet before that selected worksheet on your sheet tab so currently you can see that we've done so many operations concerning worksheets creating worksheets renaming worksheets and as you can see the preview on this particular sheet tab another way to create a worksheet is you can select the worksheet then you hold shift key and f11 on the keyboard this also creates a new worksheet before the selected worksheet so anytime you want to create a worksheet you should know where the position of the worksheet should be and also depending on how you want to work with that particular worksheet so if you want to create a worksheet you have to locate the position that whether should be before a particular worksheet you select that particular worksheet then you create your worksheet please if you are enjoying something or you are learning something i will urge you to like and also if you have not yet subscribed please consider to subscribe and also draw your comments i want to see your comments in the comment section whether in a question form or an appreciation form and i'll be very happy to attend to your comments let's dive in into the next operation concerning worksheets now that we have our created worksheets and also our worksheets renamed how can we arrange our worksheets in microsoft excel let's assume that these worksheets have their individual data and you want to arrange them based on how you want to have them that is based on your requirements and how comfortable you'll be when you're working within your workbook in microsoft excel so how can we arrange our individual worksheets in the excel window so the first thing is to use the drag and drop option now if i want to move this sheet 9 to the first location on this sheet tab what i'm going to do is to click with my left mouse button and drag now as you are dragging you can see that there's an arrow that is pointing the vertical lines that separate this individual sheet so when you get to the location that the arrow is pointed to you can release the worksheet therefore this is going to move the worksheet before that particular sheet with that vertical line so if i choose this click and when i get to this section release and that is going to position this particular worksheet on the sheet tab now we've learned how to use the drag and drop option to move worksheets in microsoft excel another way to move your worksheet is using the right click method so if i want to move this worksheet to a different section on the sheet tab i'm going to right click on this worksheet and then i'm going to have these options i'm going to select move or copy when you click you get this beautiful dialog box that is move or copy move selected sheet so what you do is now this sheet is selected on the sheet tab and we are going to choose a different worksheet where we want this sheet should be positioned before so that is if i choose sheet 3 this is sheet 3 and sheet 3 is located here and if i click on ok this is going to move the sheet 4 from its original location before sheet 3 let me illustrate this to you once again so if i select this copy and then choose sheet 6 and this is the location of sheet 6 
therefore i want to move this before sheet 6 so if i select this i'm going to click on ok and this is going to move this worksheet from its original location to or before sheet 6 so this is also another way of moving a worksheet in microsoft excel now as an excel user now you know how to move worksheets and i hope you are getting the understanding of controlling our worksheets in microsoft excel i know you are having this is a bit beginner's guide to this worksheet and also we are moving to the advanced way of using or manipulating our worksheets in microsoft excel so in this case now that we know how to move our worksheet our next operation is how to duplicate a worksheet in microsoft excel what is the essence of duplicating a worksheet that is if you have a certain data in a worksheet and you want to have a duplicate of that particular data what you have to do is to duplicate the worksheet and this will enhance you to have that similar data available now if i look at this individual worksheet we have no data no data but when we click on this we have this data available I want to duplicate this worksheet so that I have this data available. So the first approach is to select the worksheet, hold down the control key on the keyboard, click and now drag. As you are dragging, you see that arrow that points to the vertical lines. And if this is where you want to position the duplicate worksheet, you release the control key and the mouse. And when you do so, we have this worksheet and this is its duplicate which has a number attached to it and this gives me the room to rename this worksheet to a different worksheet so the data i have in this worksheet is similar to this one therefore i have duplicate this worksheet and notice anytime you duplicate a worksheet all the formatting the settings the editing the data available in that worksheet will be applied to the duplicated worksheet so i can right click and choose rename And then rename this to a different worksheet you can press the enter key on the keyboard perfectly and this is beautifully done i hope wherever you are watching this video from you are going to clap for me you are going to applaud me so that it gives me the motivation to showcase you more tips and tricks in microsoft excel now that we have this done how can we also duplicate another worksheet without using the control key you have to right click on the worksheet and then we have the option as move or copy and this also gives you the option or this is also similar to the moving option but in this case we are going to have a copy of that worksheet so if i select sheet 7 or if i select sheet 9 it means that the duplicate of this is going to be found before sheet 9 on the sheet tab and choose this option that says create a copy there is a checkbox here i'm going to check this checkbox that says create a copy and when you do so you click on ok now what happens here is that we have this sheet and this is a duplicate of it that has moved before sheet 9 and we have this number attached to it in renaming of files on the computer system you can't have the same name for two different files so i'm going to change this by double clicking i've already showed you three ways of renaming your worksheet in microsoft excel And after doing the renaming option you click in the cell in your worksheet and that is going to apply the name so this is how to duplicate a worksheet in microsoft excel in this case let us say we want to have a complete different workbook or you have a workbook that has been created and also opened but you want to have a duplicate of a particular worksheet in this case let's assume that you have a different opened workbook and you want to copy a particular worksheet from a current workbook to that different workbook and this is also very simple and also an advanced option you can do in microsoft excel let me show you how to do this so let's create a new workbook this is our current workbook that has book one let's move to file and then let's choose home and choose blank workbook in this case we have book four as our title for this workbook and when you look at this we have three worksheets we have sheet one sheet two and sheet three i'm going to jump to my current workbook which is the workbook that we are working on and let's try to move a worksheet from that workbook 
to this current workbook so this is my current workbook which has book one what you have to do is to right click choose move and copy in this beautiful dialog box we have move selected sheets and there's an option here that says to book and this is book one that is found in this field and that is the name of our current workbook we are working on so if you want to move this to a different workbook you choose this drop down arrow and you're going to have the name of all the individual workbooks created in microsoft excel and the new workbook is book four therefore i'm going to choose this and then to make a copy or duplicate you have to check this box and i'm going to select the worksheet that should have that workbook before it so i'm going to select sheet 2 and then choose ok now if i move to my new workbook you can see that this tutorial worksheet that was in book 1 has now moved to book 4 and it is located before sheet 2 because i selected sheet 2 in the dialog box so this is another way of duplicating a worksheet or copying a worksheet to a different workbook therefore i have this data available and i can work within this data hope you are learning something stick around because at the end of this video you are going to learn something new and you are going to attach that to your excel skills you possess now let's jump to our book one and then explore other options now in this book one when you look at the sheet tab we have this bar that is located here and this is called the horizontal scroll bar and where you have this plus symbol we have this arrow here which is this three dots that we have here it allows you to stretch and expand your sheet tab and also collapse the horizontal scroll bar so you can see that i am collapsing this horizontal scroll bar here so that i can have more space on my sheet tab if i want to draw it closer to the sheet tab i'm going to click click and this is also going to collapse the sheet tab and have a lengthier horizontal scroll bar on the sheet tab so when you want to view your additional worksheet what you can do is to click on this ellipse button and now this is going to open all the worksheets that are hidden so you can see the effect here but if you want to have a view of all your worksheets you need to collapse or stretch horizontal scroll bar then you have a view of all these worksheets another way to navigate through your worksheet is to use this arrows that we have here so let us assume i collapse this now i can use this arrow to see all the worksheets that are available on the sheet tab so this also helps you to navigate through your worksheet as a pro user what you can do is to right click on this location where we have the left and right arrow key and when you right click you have this activated dialog box and this is going to showcase you all the worksheets that you've created on the sheet tab so to have easy navigation you select that worksheet within this window and click on ok and this is going to jump you to that specific worksheet on the sheet tab right click choose ok and now this is going to select that worksheet and you're going to have accessible to what data that is available on that particular worksheet now when you become a frequent user in microsoft excel there's another operation you can apply to your worksheet that is to view the code option of your worksheet let us assume i select this worksheet and this is the data available you right click on the worksheet then you choose view code and now in this window you have all your listed worksheets here and this is the worksheet which is sheet 6 and that has the name also so this gives you the code interface where you can write some code to affect the worksheet that you have selected whether you want to apply some automatic formatting where you want to apply some automatic adjustment to your source you can type that code in this particular field i have a video that shows you how to have automatic or auto fit colon with in microsoft excel i'm going to drop that link in the description below and you are going to get access to this area and have a simple code applied to a particular worksheet 
and that is going to take effect so check the link in the description below and watch how to have auto fit effect to your columns or cells in microsoft excel so to close you choose this and close this you can also select the sheet and hold the alt key and f11 this also opens the microsoft visual basic for application to view your course and type or manipulate some course to have some effect on your current worksheet our next operation in terms of manipulating our worksheet in excel is how to protect your worksheet now you can protect your worksheet with or without data this is a worksheet that consists of this data and if i want to protect this i'm going to right click on the worksheet and we have the option as protect sheet and you can also press the letter p on the keyboard this gives you this option and then in this option we have password to unprotect sheet you can type a password that is going to protect the worksheet and also you can ignore this password and when you get to this field that says allow all users of this worksheet to when you check a checkbox it means that the user of this worksheet can select locked cells can select unlock cells you can check all these boxes here so let's assume that i check this and i'm going to uncheck this and then in this option i'm also going to check this particular option it means that i'm protecting this worksheet and content of lock cells so i'm going to allow all users to format cells and also insert colors and i'm going to click on ok i'm not going to have any password given to it i'll also show you how to add the password now this worksheet is protected if i select if i select any cell here you can see that i am not allowed to select any cell within this particular data because when protecting this worksheet i did not allow that option so this worksheet can be viewable to every user of this particular excel window but that user will not have the accessibility to select any cell in this data so what i'll do is to go back and unprotect the worksheet and now this gives you the option to select a cell and do all the necessary formatting you can also right click and then this time around i'm going to allow you to select locked cells and also unlock cells and now click on ok this time around you can select any cell you can format You can do so many things to this data in this worksheet because i have given out that permission that is to format the cells you can right click on the colon and choose insert because i have allowed that option in that protect worksheet option but if i select this and right click this does not give me the option to insert a rule in that particular worksheet why because during the protection of this worksheet i ignore users to insert a row but rather i accepted every user to insert a colon into my worksheet so this is a wonderful way of manipulating your worksheet in microsoft excel and if you want to unprotect you right click and choose unprotect sheet and this time around you have all the options to manipulate this worksheet so protecting a worksheet is very useful now how can we protect a worksheet with a password so if i select this worksheet and we said we can have it down to a worksheet with a data or no data so this time i'm not going to right click rather i'll move to the menu bar and choose the review tab now i have a video that gives you the clue the overview the in-depth tutorial of microsoft excel and that is the anatomy of microsoft excel this gives you the understanding of microsoft excel and how to use it it explains all the features of microsoft excel i am going to leave the link of that video in the description check that video out after watching this perfect video now under the review tab we have the protect group and the first option is protect sheets and then you are going to have the same dialog box now in this case i'm going to type a password 
and then i'm going to click on ok before then you have to select the options that will give the permissions to all the excel users to manipulate so i'm going to choose format cells and also choose insert columns and i'm going to click on ok now you have this confirm dialog box and we are going to type the password that is to re-enter and i'm going to click on ok now this worksheet is protected without data if i select this i can type but what happens here is that the cell or chart you are trying to change is on a protected sheet to make a change on protected sheets you might be requested to enter a password so even in this case you can select cells you can select multiple cells but i did not allow you to enter a data in this source so if you try to enter this is not going to allow you because i did not provide that permission for you to enter a data in a particular worksheet the only thing that you can do here is to select the cells now to unprotect you move back to your menu bar and click on this option and this time around you have to enter a password and to enter the password you need the administrator permission that is the owner of this worksheet who protected it so you have to get access or get contact with the owner and he or she is going to provide you with a password and after doing so you click on ok and now you have the option to enter enter data into your worksheet so this is how to protect and also unprotect your worksheet in microsoft excel now i am going to collapse this horizontal scroll bar and i have a view of all my worksheets on the sheet tab there's another operation that we can apply to our worksheet which is color scheme given to our worksheet when you apply some colors to your worksheet it gives you the easy identification of your worksheet and its content so let me show you how to apply some colors to your worksheet now if you select a particular worksheet it has a white background and the text has a font green color so you can see that this sheet 8 has a green text while the background is white now to have some colors given to your worksheet for easy identification you right click and then we have the option as tab color in this case you are going to have all the color schemes applied and you are going to choose the color that you want for your worksheet so if i choose this and then select another worksheet this is going to give this color to this particular worksheet therefore when i open one workbook i base on the color identification and note the kind of worksheet i want to work with it in microsoft excel you select right click tap color you can choose black and when you want to see the effects choose another worksheet and now this goes with this particular color right click tap then we choose this color select this and this is going to be the color given to your worksheet right click tap color then we choose blue select another worksheet and this is going to give this color to your worksheet another way to apply some color schemes to your worksheet you select then you move to the menu bar and click on the home tab and then we have the cells group choose format and then you have tab color and these are the palette of colors available you can choose this and then when you select a new worksheet this is going to be the colors applied to your selected worksheet so this is how to involve some colors to your worksheet for easy data identification another thing that you can use for security reasons or privacy reasons or for fun in microsoft excel is to hide and also on hide worksheets now let us you want to hide this worksheet which is sheet 2 you can select right click and then we have the option to hide now this worksheet is hidden if you want to bring it back you are not going to have any option here but the operation for you to bring this worksheet back is to select any of this worksheet right click and choose on hide therefore this is going to bring the on hide dialog box and choose the worksheet you want to unhide then you click on ok now you have the worksheet available 
you can hide multiple worksheets by selecting one worksheet hold down the control key select 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 after selecting the worksheet you want to hide right click on any of the selected worksheets and choose hide this is going to hide all this worksheet if you want to bring it back you right click choose on hide you have the box and this time around if you want to on hide an individual worksheet you select the worksheet and choose ok but if you want to on hide all the worksheets holding down the control key and clicking then you click on ok now when you come back to your sheets tab all the worksheets that was hidden are now back to our sheets tab so this is how to hide and on hide worksheets in microsoft excel another way to hide your worksheet is to select the worksheet or you select the multiple worksheets you want to hide move to the home tab in the source group you choose format and then we have hide or on hide option and we have rules columns sheets and i'm going to select hide sheet and this is going to hide all the sheets that was selected so if you want to unhide select any of the worksheets move to the home tab format and then you choose hide and unhide they are going to choose unhide sheets and i'm going to have the dialog box select all the worksheets and choose ok and now you have all your available worksheets on the sheets tab the next operation i want to introduce you to is to hide the entire workbook that you have opened this is the entire workbook that we have here and these are the individual worksheets in this particular workbook and as i said earlier i said workbook in excel is like a normal book that consists of individual pages with their content so this is the individual pages or sheets we have in this workbook if i want to hide this entire workbook i'll move to the view tab and then in the view tab we have window this means that we want to hide the entire window and we have the option to hide when you click this is going to hide the book one that was open and now we have this new workbook which is book four if i want to unhide that particular workbook i have to get access to another excel window which is this particular window open move to the view tab and then in the window group we are going to select on hide and then we have the name of the book that we want to on hide in microsoft excel we select and choose ok and now we have that workbook open our next operation is how to group and also on group sheets in microsoft excel in this case i have all these worksheets here we can group this worksheet based on our preference and i'm going to show you how to do it i'm going to show you different ways you can use to group your worksheets in microsoft excel the first way is to use the shift key on the keyboard if i select this worksheet hold down the shift key on the keyboard and select this this has totally grouped all these particular sheets therefore if i do anything in any of this worksheet and I hit the enter key if i move to this i have that effect applied you see it, i typed me in this field so when i move to all these individual worksheets the data that I typed is available in that particular worksheet. So that is the power of grouping worksheets in Microsoft Excel. Especially if you want to apply some formatting to two or more worksheets. Or you want to enter a similar data to two or more worksheets. This is the best option you can use by grouping your worksheet. So I hold on the shift key and also click on the last worksheet to select in a sequence way so that I can have a group of it. When you right click on any of these worksheets, we have the option to ungroup. And when you click, this is going to deselect your worksheet. So, this is how to group worksheets. You select, hold down the shift key, select, and that worksheet is grouped. Right click and choose ungroup worksheets. So, using the shift key helps you to select your worksheet in a sequence way. Another way to group in your worksheet is to use the control key on the keyboard. You select a particular worksheet, hold down the control key this is best for random selection you click 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 whilst your finger is on the control key and therefore these worksheets are grouped so if i right click and choose delete this is going to delete all these worksheets the essence of grouping worksheet is it allows you to delete rename move and also change the color of it so let's assume that i select this color and click on any of these worksheets because i grouped this worksheet that formatting has been applied to it so grouping your worksheet helps you to delete rename protect 
make a lot of options to that particular worksheet another way to group your worksheet is to right click and then you select all sheets this time around this is going to select all the worksheets on the sheets tab and this is also another way of grouping your worksheets in microsoft excel now that these sheets are selected when you right click you can choose this and also you can just select one worksheet and that is going to ungroup all the worksheets in microsoft excel so i know that you've learned how to group and also on group worksheet this detailed tutorial on worksheet is going to broaden our mind whenever we get access to a workbook and that is not going to make us look intimidated anytime we are working within our workbook in microsoft excel we are moving to the next operation our next operation is how to use the zoom level or the zoom option in microsoft excel if i select this particular worksheet which is panahene this is the data i have here let's assume that personally you are not having a better view of this or you are illustrating this to some audience and this data is not in the viewable option that is a better viewable option to your audience you have the zoom level in microsoft excel or the zoom slider that is going to help you to zoom into that particular data so that there's going to be a better movement and also a better accessibility of your data so if i move to the bottom right corner i have this slider here which is called the zoom slider we can use the minus sign to decrease but when you use the plus sign this is going to zoom in so that you can have a better view of your worksheet and its content you also have this zoom option here that gives you the number of percentage that you have which is 220 percent if i click this opens the zoom dialog box and you have the option to select any of these predefined percentages and also you have your custom number you can type in this field so if i select 200 i can click on ok and this is going to be my zoom level of my worksheet and note anytime you zoom in in a particular worksheet that do not affect the other worksheets so if i move to this next worksheet this do not have that particular percentage this is when the grouping of worksheets comes in handy so if i select this using my control key i can use the zoom level therefore if i move back I can see that this is having the same zoom level because i selected all these worksheets or because i grouped all these worksheets so this is how to apply the zoom level to your worksheet in microsoft excel and even if you have a selected worksheet you can move to the view tab on the menu bar and we have the zoom area we have zoom 100 percent and zoom to selection so if i choose this i also have the dialog box select 200 and click on ok this also zooms into a particular option if i want to move back to 100 percent i'm going to click the 100 percent in the zoom group and i'm going to have the effect so using the slider or using the zoom group on the menu bar will perfectly help you to zoom in and zoom out your worksheet in microsoft excel our next operation in this worksheet manipulation is freeze pin if i select this and i want to have some freeze pin applied to my data i'm going to select the particular row i want to freeze so this time around, i want to freeze row 5. if i select this i'll move back to my view tab and then we have the window group and we have freeze pins and when you click on this dialog box these are the three options that you're going to see we have freeze pins that is keep rules and columns visible while the rest of the worksheet scrolls the next one is free top row that is keep the top row visible while scrolling through the rest of the worksheet and the last one is freeze first column so this depends on you so if i choose the first option and i'm scrolling you can see that this has freeze the first row and now i'm scrolling and that is going to move all the additional rows and columns and it is scrolling perfectly as you can see but we have only row 4 that is being freeze and if you want to unfreeze just select any cell move to the view tab and choose freeze and choose unfreeze pins you can also select this and choose freeze top row and this time around you are scrolling you can see that row 4 is the top row because this is what i selected if i select freeze and choose unfreeze and if i select this particular option 
top row now if i scroll in this worksheet this is the top row that we have here that is row four and you could see that because we zoom into a particular portion and this is where our data is located and the top row is above our data so when you select this and choose top row this is going to freeze the top row when you choose the first option this is going to freeze the top row and you can also utilize the third option which is freeze first column so this is how to freeze and unfreeze your worksheet in microsoft excel the next operation that we are going to learn is how to delete a worksheet now that we have a lot of worksheets on our sheet tab there might be some worksheets we don't need and some are unnecessary and some do not make some impact in creating our data in microsoft excel and also personally we don't need some of these worksheets on our sheet tab so how can we delete our worksheet in microsoft excel if i select this worksheet you can right click and then in these options you are going to select delete this gives you the option that microsoft excel will permanently delete this sheet do you want to continue delete or cancel so when you are sure to delete you choose delete you select right click delete and now we are deleting our worksheet you can also select the worksheet or multiple worksheets right click delete so you can see how i am deleting my worksheet select now this time around i'll move to the home tab and then in the cells group i'm going to choose the delete command click on the drop down arrow and then in this option i'm going to delete the sheet and click on ok so you can see how we are deleting our worksheets in microsoft excel so this is how to delete your worksheets using the ribbon and also the right click method and i hope we've learned something in this particular video concerning worksheets how to manipulate our worksheets how to format them how to arrange them how to duplicate how to do a lot of things and this is going to give you a deep dive understanding when it comes to worksheets in microsoft excel if i have perfectly explained this to you to your understanding based on your preference i would like you to like this video subscribe consider to comment in this particular video and subsequent one and if you have any question you can drop that in the comment section i will attend to and have a positive reply to you thank you and you are welcome to this community which is banahini tutorial collections and stay tuned for notification on your youtube page thank you and see you in the next video